Helena, can you quit being such an incessant nag for once? You're giving me a massive headache with all that constant harping. Wait, what? Margot, I'm confused. I honestly don't get where you're coming from. What on earth have I been nagging you about? Come on, isn't it obvious? You keep bombarding me with your texts and calls, begging me to visit Dad in the hospital. How many times do I have to repeat myself? I don't have the time to drop everything and rush to the hospital. I've got my own life to deal with, and I'm drowning in work here. All right. I apologize, but it's Sunday today and I don't think you have work, do you? Can you please find a little time to visit Dad today? He's really sick, you know? Haven't you heard what the doctor said? Her father might not have much time left. Nuh-uh. I've got way more important things to worry about. Don't you even realize that today is my precious spa day? And do you have any idea how much of a hassle it is to travel from the city to the countryside? It's not like it's a piece of cake to come running whenever you want me to. I know that Dad's hospital is in the countryside, but it really only takes about two hours to get here by car. See? It's not as time-consuming as you think. Only two hours, huh? Wow. You make it sound like a leisurely stroll in the park or something. Let me tell you. Those two hours are no joke. It's a grueling journey, okay? Not to mention, it costs money to make that trip. Seriously? Is money the only thing that matters to you? Quit being a stubborn and just come visit our father. You're not a little kid anymore. You're an adult. It's time to start acting like one. I'm not the stubborn one. You are. I simply don't want to waste my precious time and money on something that doesn't benefit me in any way. Can't you understand that? How can you even say that? We're talking about our own father here. Why would you think that visiting him doesn't benefit you? You know, he's worked tirelessly his whole life to provide us with everything we could ever want. Oh, here we go again. I've already told you, my time is not some free commodity. Time is valuable, you know. It's just like money. But you used to visit our parents' house frequently. But now that he's retired and facing health issues, it seems like you've been avoiding seeing him. Why the sudden change? Dad isn't even himself anymore. He used to be this proud company owner who would hand out money whenever I asked for it. I still can't wrap my head around why he decided to shut down his company, despite my strong opposition. And to top it all off, he's gone and done something as foolish as getting into farming. It's just embarrassing, you know? He's made me look like, like a complete idiot. But now, he's seriously ill, and he needs us to be there for him during the toughest times of his life. Have you even stopped to realize that you haven't visited our dad once since he got admitted to the hospital? Look, I'm busy, and I don't have time to waste talking to you. You should know by now that I'm the wife of a proud CEO of an IT company. My schedule is packed with meetings and parties I have to attend with my husband. So do us both a favor and leave me alone. Stop contacting me. Hey, Helena. I really need to talk to you urgently. It's an emergency. What's going on, Margot? Why are you suddenly reaching out to me? Listen up and answer my question straight. Have you heard anything about Dad's will? Did he mention anything about his inheritance? What? So you decided to contact me out of the blue just to ask about this? It seems like money is the only thing you care about, huh? Why are you so mean to me? I'll visit Dad whenever I find the time. But first, you better answer my question. Did our dear father happen to spill any details about his precious will? Like, who's going to get his fancy house, land, and money? With his limited time left to live, as the doctor said, he must have prepared all that legal stuff by now, right? Listen, Marco, if you're only reaching out to me for these kinds of questions, then I don't even want to continue this conversation. If you are genuinely curious about Dad's will, why don't you come to the hospital and ask him directly? 
Honestly, I have no clue about T's will. He hasn't mentioned anything to me either. What? Quit trying to manipulate me into going to the hospital. You're clearly lying. Of course, you know something about our father's will, because besides mom, you're the only one who shows up at the hospital to check in on dad. Well, why don't you go ahead and ask our mom then? Why come to me instead? You know very well that we always end up fighting whenever we try to talk to each other. Ugh, mom couldn't even get bother to give me a straight answer. I tried asking her, but she totally shut me down and wouldn't utter a single word. It's beyond annoying, you know? Just freaking tell me already, jeez. Oh, I wish I could help, but I honestly don't know anything either. Here's what I do know though. Mom said we all have to meet up at her place today because there's some important stuff she wants to discuss. Maybe it's about Dad's will, but I can't say for sure. You might want to come along and find out. All right, cool. I'm totally on board. Just give Mom a heads up that I'll be there, okay? Let her know she can't start without me. Thanks. Oh, look who's here. The ultimate sore loser, Helena. Surprise, surprise. Our parents have always favored me over you. It's crystal clear now, isn't it? That's why you're stuck with that pathetic storage shed while I'm sitting pretty with $100,000 in my hand. Face it, you're a lost cause. No matter what you do, mom and dad will never give a damn about you. They adore me because I'm cute, sweet, and ridiculously talented. It's just how it is, sis. Deal with it. What happened was unbelievable. To be honest, I couldn't bring myself to accept it. You heard everything from Dad's lawyer yourself, right? He said that he had our father write the will in front of him with his primary physician present. They had arranged for the primary physician to contact the lawyer when our dad passed away. So after our father passed away, he contacted the lawyer and the lawyer reached out to us. You even saw the will yourself, right? It's no doubt dad's handwriting. Quit fooling yourself and face the facts, loser. It's crystal clear that I'm the proud owner of that sweet $100,000 while you're stuck with nothing but that pathetic excuse for a shed. <laughs> but how could it be? Well. Looks like I have to cough up some chump change for that pesky inheritance tax, but who cares? I still have a fat stack of cash left from that juicy 100k daddy dearest left me. <laughs> Guess what? I emerged victorious, baby. Yay me, the ultimate winner. I'm astounded that you took dad's savings from the inheritance so conveniently. It's truly selfish of you. Oh, look who's all green with envy because they didn't get a single dime from daddy's inheritance. You really thought being dad's favorite child entitled you to everything you desired, huh? Well, turns out I'm the one who hogged all of dad's attention, not you, loser. Let me chuckle at your pathetic attempts to contest dad's will, but guess what? Mom was on my side too, so it was a lost cause for you. But let's not forget that Dad explicitly stated in his will that we are supposed to divide the savings and the storage shed fairly between the two of us. So explain to me, why did you conveniently ignore his wishes? Oh my gosh, seriously? What on earth do you have to complain about? You got the amazing prize of the storage shed next to Dad's precious farm, right? The lawyer spelled it out crystal clear that you would inherit the whole shebang, the building, the land, and everything inside. So tell me, what more do you want? <laughs> Honestly, that shed is a complete joke. It's like a measly 65 square feet, barely bigger than a tiny bedroom. It's just a dilapidated shack filled with an ancient farming tools. But that's not fair to me at all. What? 
you're the one who happily agreed to let our old man retire and take on that vegetable farming thing instead. So who the hell do you think you are to complain now? Oh, and let's not forget what mom said, huh? As long as I don't whine about it later, she's got no objections. That means she fully backed my brilliant plan of dividing dad's inheritance between us. She even made it painfully clear later on that I get the cash and you get stuck with the shed. Pretty damn fair if you ask me, so quit your pathetic griping. But I can help but wonder why mom didn't support me in this matter. It just doesn't make sense to me. Oh, you're still wondering about that? Seriously? To me, it's as clear as daylight. Oh dear parents, just can't stand you. That's all. I, on the other hand, am their golden child. So it's only natural that they shower me with everything I desire and everything that's best for me. But I still feel like there's something seriously wrong here. Oh, give me a break. You're such a greedy little brat, aren't you? What a hassle you are. You've always painted yourself as this saintly daughter, putting dad's interests above everyone else's. But don't even try to tell me you haven't been faking it this whole damn time. Now that dear old dad is gone, you finally reveal your true colors and your real agenda for caring more about money than your own father. Am I right? Pathetic. That's not it. Oh, don't you worry your little head. I've already signed that document, promising not to utter a single complaint about the division of our inheritance. So no need to fret about me fighting you over that disgusting shed. You can have it all to yourself, my dear. Enjoy your little rat hole. You know what? That filthy shed actually suits a repulsive rat like you perfectly. Why don't you just move right in and make it your cozy little home? <laughs> all right, fine, Margo. Whatever you say, you can have dad's savings. Actually, now that I think about it, I'm actually quite content with the shed. It holds all the tools that dad used during his farming days. Sure, these items may not have any monetary value, but they hold sentimental significance to me, as they remind me of our dear father. Yeah, whatever, you pathetic loser. Now I'll spend some quality time thinking about all the amazing things I'm going to do with that $100,000 our dad handed over to me. Of course, I'll make damn sure to make the absolute best of my money. <laughs> Mom, it's me, Helena. Can you spare a moment? There's something really important I'd like to discuss with you. Yes, my dear, I'm here. What is it that you'd like to talk to me about? Look, Mom, I finally understand why you agreed to let Margot have the savings instead of Dad's shed. You were absolutely right. I just took a closer look inside the shed, and guess what? There was actually something there. You know your father, dear. He always had a reason behind everything he did. And this situation is no exception. It's true, Mom. And you won't believe what I discovered. At first, I look around the shed, but I saw nothing special. Then I realized that the inside of the shed felt a bit cramped compared to the outside. After that, I stepped outside the shed and walked around to the back of the shed. The backside was adjacent to a thicket of various trees. And to my surprise, there was another door there. Way to go, my dear girl. I had full confidence that you would unravel the mystery. Your dad and I have always admired your intelligence, and we knew you would come through. You certainly didn't disappoint us. Now, please do tell me, what did you do next to uncover the real inheritance that your dad left for you? Thanks for the kind words, Mom. Well, I simply followed my God instincts. I thought to myself, if there's a door at the back, shouldn't it be visible from the inside too? But it wasn't. That meant there had to be a wall in between. In other words, there was a secret space only accessible from the back. The moment I figured that out, I couldn't contain my excitement. <laughs> Just like they say, like father, like daughter. 
Your dad was always a fan of surprises, and it seems you've inherited that trait too. Do you still recall how he used to surprise you on your birthdays? Those were some special moments, weren't they? Yes, I do, Mom. And I always find myself tearing up whenever I think about those memories. And how did you find the backdoor key for the shed? I followed my gut feeling and rummaged through the shed. After a while, I found two keys hidden in the handle of a shovel. I went around to the back and tried one of the keys in the door. When I opened the door, the space inside was only about three feet wide. And surprisingly, there's a safe inside. It was a large safe from dad's company. And looking at it made me nostalgic. I actually hugged the safe and I felt fulfilled. It was a true memory of dad. And that's where the real inheritance lies. You did it, sweetheart. You cracked the puzzle that your dad left for us before he passed away. I'm so proud of you. I was absolutely stunned when I saw the contents of the safe, Mom. Honestly, I didn't expect it at all. I hope you really enjoyed it, Helena. It was your dad's special gift, so make sure to use it wisely, my dear. Mom, I was thinking, would it be okay if I moved the safe to your place? You know my house isn't that spacious, and it's a real struggle to find space for such a big safe. Yes, absolutely, sweetheart. Whenever you can feel free to bring the safe over to my house, I have more than enough room to accommodate it. Thanks for your help, Mom. I'll give you a heads up about it. Hey, Helena. It's your sis, remember? Please don't tell me you've totally forgotten about me already. It would seriously bum me out if you did. Oh, Margo? What's up with the random text out of nowhere? Wow, chill out. Can't believe you're getting all hostile. I just wanted to see how you're doing. But whatever. I'll be at your place today at 4 p.m., so make sure you're home to greet me. What? You're coming to my place? Why? What's with the shock? I've got some important business to discuss, so I'm dropping by your crib. And just so you know, I don't accept any no as an answer. I'm sorry, but I won't be able to be home at 4 p.m. to greet you. I've got some work to take care of, you know? If you have something to say, please go ahead and say it now. All right, all right. No need to get all defensive on me, okay? Look, just answer me honestly. Did you win the lottery or something? What? No, I didn't. In fact, I never buy lottery tickets because I'm not interested. Then, did your husband get a bonus? Well, my husband's a salaried worker. He does get a holiday bonus, but it's not that time of the year yet. So, I don't really understand what you're getting at. Why don't you get straight to the point, Margot? What? Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. What are you talking about? Money, money. You have it, don't you? Money? Yeah, I heard all about it. So a few days back, I coincidentally bumped into your lovely aunt. Our combo wasn't anything special until out of nowhere, she starts blabbering about this massive thank you gift. She claimed that you're the one who sent her a freaking $500 gift card just for visiting our dear old dad. So spill it. Tell me the truth. Did you hit the jackpot or something? Did you stumble upon a treasure? Come on, fess up already. Ah, so that's all what this is all about. Hi. <sighs> it seems like you're only concerned about that thank you gift. Am I right? What's with the attitude? Are you mocking me or something? No, I'm not. I'm just simply asking you a question. So where did you get the money for it? That's what I want to know. Well, from the inheritance, remember? Inheritance? Yes, I got the inheritance, so I sent you thank you gifts to relatives who had helped us when our dad was still sick. But all you got was that dirty shed no one even wants to have. Yes, that's true. You can't sell that for money. But there was a safe inside it, and it contained the real inheritance. A safe? Real inheritance? Yes, there were watches in the safe, and they were all valuable. 
collected by my father as a hobby during his lifetime. Mom told me that he had invested a lot in those watches. Then I consulted a lawyer we spoke to recently. I was told if you inherit valuables, the inheritance tax is determined by their value at that time. They also told me that a certified public accountant could handle it for me, so he left it to the accountant. As a result, it was found that the watches alone were worth at least $500,000. What? $500,000? Are you freaking kidding me? Yeah, then I did as told, which is keeping the ones I'm emotionally attached to and selling the rest. Certainly, it doesn't make sense for me, who doesn't know the value, to hold onto such expensive watches. I'd rather someone who understands her worth have them. After that, I used the money from the sale of the watches to pay the inheritance tax and sent thank you gifts to the relatives who would help us. I also kept the pocket watch that our father often wore. It's not expensive, but it holds the most memories for me. Oh, for crying out loud, why the heck did you inherit a whopping 500k from dad? Well, I only got stuck with a measly... That's beyond unfair. And let me guess, you probably have a stash of those fancy watches too, don't you? Well, there are still some in the safe. Then where's the safe? Tell me. Well, why do you ask? Why do you want to know about it? My goodness, you little brat. Just tell me already. Sorry, but I won't disclose the location of the safe right now. Unless you can give me a legit reason that explains why you're all of a sudden so interested in it. Do you think you're a detective or what? Fine, I'll figure it out on my own. Just wait and see, you stupid mule. Elena, are you there? You won't believe what just happened at my house. Hi, Mom. What happened? It's just really bad. Honestly, I don't even know where to begin. Just tell me, Mom. I'm here for you. Well, it was only around 9 p.m., but I felt tired, so I went to bed. Soon after that, I heard strange noises. It sounds like someone searching for something came from beyond the door. I thought it was a burglar, and I was so scared that I didn't know what to do. Then I decided to escape through the window. Looking back, I saw the light of a flashlight moving inside the house. I was convinced it was a burglar, so I ran to the neighbor's house and asked for help. After that, they helped me to call the police. Wait, what? Oh my gosh, I'm so sorry. Are you okay? Did someone hurt you or do something to you? Well, no. Turns out, it wasn't some random burglar after all. Guess who it was? Your sister, Margo, who snuck into the house. Can you believe it? What? Is it Margo? Yes, I think she was rummaging through the safe. After the police arrived, she tried to make a quick escape. In her rush, she bumped into the open door of the safe. Just then, an already unstable safe toppled over falling right onto her as she tried to flee. So Margot got trapped under the safe? Oh my god, is she okay now? She was taken to the hospital by ambulance, but she keeps saying that her leg hurts. Honestly? What was she even thinking? How could she come up with such a dumb idea of sneaking into your house and trying to steal stuff from the safe? It's beyond ridiculous. I can't even begin to express how humiliated I feel at this moment. I've already made it clear to Margo that I've severed all ties with her. From now on, I refuse to acknowledge her as my daughter. It's crystal clear that she's solely interested in your dad's money, never genuinely cared about him or me. I'm sorry, Mom. I understand that it's a tough call to make. Just remember, I'll always be here for you, no matter what goes down. Thank you, Helena. I promise you. I'll be all right. I just need some time to adapt and find my footing. Hey, Helena, got any cash left in your pockets? I'm in a real bind here and I could really use some money. Don't be stingy now, cough it up. What, you're still trying to hit me up for cash? Have you no shame? You should count yourself lucky that mom didn't report you to the police for breaking into her place and trying to take those watches from the safe. Do you even realize how much you embarrassed her? 
she had to go and apologize to the police officers who came to sort things out, saying it was all just a big misunderstanding. Look, I was backed into a corner, okay? It's not like I had some burning desire to snatch those watches. Well, isn't your husband a CEO at an IT company? Why are you always trapped for cash then? Are you mocking me, Helena? It seems like you take great pleasure in watching your own sister suffer, don't you? You're just awful, Helena. I honestly don't get what you're saying. I wasn't mocking you in any way. What's this all about? You are aware that my husband is in the process of divorcing me, right? It means he won't be my husband for much longer. Oh yeah, I totally forgot about that part. <laughs> my bad. Listen up, I don't have time to go back and forth with you, all right? I need money, like right freaking now, so cough it up. I don't care how you get it or where you comes from. Just hand it all over to me. And if you don't have cash, I'll happily take a few of those watches Dad left you as inheritance. That works just fine for me. Whoa, whoa, Margo. Are you even hearing yourself? Who do you think you are? Bossing me around like that? Now, here's a question for you. Why are you so desperate for money, huh? It's none of your business. Stop being so nosy all the time. Well, your husband told me everything, so no need to hide anything from me anymore. The truth is, you racked up a considerable amount of debt due to your excessive spending habit. Apparently, you had been spending a lot on brand name items. You already used 100k you inherited to pay off your debts. But even that isn't enough. Now you're coming to me to scratch for more money? Isn't that right? How can you be so gleeful while talking about my suffering? Are you even human anymore? Look, sis, please lend a hand to your cute little sister, all right? I'm completely innocent here. I haven't done anything wrong. So pretty please, help me out of this mess. I'm begging you. You claim to be innocent? Really? Why didn't you use some common sense before blowing your money like there was no tomorrow? And maybe, if you weren't so darn greedy and chose the 100k dollar savings instead of that storage shed, you might have had more cash to pay off your debts. But hey, it's all water under the bridge now, and you've got to face the consequences of your reckless choices. No one's going to come to your rescue. You're on your own, sis. After the divorce, Margot didn't receive a single penny due to her reckless spending of her husband's money behind his back. She was kicked out of her husband's house and had to settle for a small, rundown apartment. I heard she started working part-time to pay off her debts. As for me, I made the decision to move back to my parents' home after all the chaos. Of course, I'm concerned about my mother, but there's another reason behind my choice. I recently found out that I'm pregnant. My husband and I discussed it and decided to return home so that my mother can assist us with the childbirth and child care. I wish I could have shared the news with my father while he was still alive, but I'm confident he would have been thrilled for us. I'm really excited about welcoming a healthy baby into the world.